Hey everybody, Tisha from Wakelet here, and today I wanna to get you started using Wakelet in under five minutes. Now you may have heard of Wakelet and you may have heard of people raving about all the different use cases of Wakelet, but today we're gonna to focus on three main areas. The first area that we'll focus on is the creation portion. We will learn how to create a collection. The second portion that we'll really focus on is curation, collecting resources that are important to you. And then the third portion will be sharing those resources out. So in years past, what I would do is if I wanted to share out a group of links or research with anybody, I would pull together all of those links and put them in a Google Doc like you see here, or a Microsoft Word document, or even a Google Keep. I would put all of those links or photos into this space. And it works well, but it wasn't really engaging. And so what I wanna show you today is how to go to your Wakelet account, create a new collection, give your collection a title, a description, choose the layout that you see fit for your collection and adding in a cover image. So what I've done is I've already created a web 3.0 resource collection. I went in and added a little cover image here of a, 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 a gaming remote. Um, and then you can see that I've already pulled in a YouTube video and an Instagram post that I found that I thought would be really helpful. It's really simple to take your documents here and you can right click on them or highlight them, but you want to copy that and then you're going to paste it over into a collection. And once you have it pasted over, it'll populate, it'll show up. You can see this is a podcast from Spotify. So I have lots of mixed media here. Another thing that you'll notice on my document is a Google Drive document. There is an image and there is also a PDF here. So very quickly, I can upload an image and uh, pull an image over. I can also copy and paste an image over if I wanted, and I can upload different PDFs. So I have a couple of PDFs um, here that I'll just pull over that aren't necessarily Web 3.0, but you can see this is what a PDF would look like. I can do the same thing with an image. I can choose from a library or choose a Giphy. So a couple of things I want you to note here, once you create a collection, you'll need to share that collection if you choose. Over to the right, you see a button that says share. I can click on that and I can keep it private. I can keep it as unlisted, which means I see it and anybody else that I want to see it can, or I can choose public, which means it's available to anybody in the world. So I'm gonna choose unlisted here. It's just really easy to copy that link over and paste it into an email. I also have some options here as an as a educator, I can use a QR code. I love this. You can right click and copy that image and pull it into any document. You can embed into an LMS. You can also throw it over to Teams or Classroom, and you can invite, if you so wish, you can invite and copy this collaboration link here if you want people to add to your collection. So I've pulled a couple of collections to show you. They're just a couple of examples of how people are using Wakelet. Um, this is just my collection for myself, but you can see this is a student collection. This is a portfolio. And I love what Abby has done. She's done a custom header at the top. She's linked her social media and she's pulled in several different collections, um, really showcasing her work, her talents, her interests. Then you have an example. Um, this is a very easy lesson plan example. Um, lots of those out there. But you can see this is for the week and it is a math lesson and it goes all the way through. There's that PDF. Here's just some text. Here's a YouTube link. This can look however you want it to look. And that's the great thing about Wakelet. It's versatile and it's flexible and it will meet you where you are. So that is just one more example. And lastly, I love to show this example from Todd Davis. This is a really easy um, way to see the column layout. So he has put it into different categories here. 
um, about extensions, some must haves, some student interaction, accessibility, personal learning, time savers. There's lots here and there's so many ways to utilize Wakelet and this should get you started. I think you should start right now.